Hey, and welcome to Make a Mark Studios. I'm Miss V, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an etching on scratch paper of a dog. I'm going to do a quick time lapse and just show you some of the key things to remember when you're doing a scratch art of something that has texture like fur. So the first thing I did before I started this drawing is I did a contour sketch on a piece of tracing paper. I then taped that tracing paper to the scratch paper and then I used a ballpoint pen to go over those lines. What this does is it makes a slight indentation onto the surface of the scratch paper so that you know where your lines are. I like this method because I can figure out all of my sketch on the tracing paper before I go on to my final scratch art paper. Before we begin, let's review some etching line techniques. Whenever you're doing a scratch art etching, you can use hatching, which is directional lines, stippling, which are either tiny dots or really tiny lines, cross hatching, which is crossing lines to create different values, or scumbling, which is using kind of a squiggly line to create value. In this drawing of the dog, I'm going to be using a lot of hatching and some scumbling. I use a little bit of stippling on the nose. When I'm doing something like a picture of a furry dog, I love to start around the nose. The nose kind of helps me to figure out what direction the fur is going. As I'm working, the key things that I want to look at in the fur is the length of the fur. For longer fur, I'm going to use longer lines. For shorter fur, I'm going to use shorter lines. And then I also want to pay attention to how light or dark the fur is. If it's lighter, I'll etch away more. If it's darker, I'll etch away less. And last but not least, we really want to pay attention to what direction the fur is going. Think if you're petting a dog, what direction is the fur going? Always be thinking about this and paying attention to your photo reference as you work. As I progress in my drawing, I continue to push the contrast. So I etch away my lighter areas to be a little bit brighter white. I personally try to avoid etching all the way white. I like to always see a little bit of that black showing through, even on the brightest white areas. I just think it gives it a little texture. I'm using a craft knife to do my etching. As I'm working, I'm remembering the word scratch. It's light. I'm not pushing down hard. I'm not trying to cut into the paper. I'm doing a very light etching and scratching on the surface. Etching too vigorously with too much pressure can damage your scratch art paper. Your stylus should be nice and sharp, but with that said, always be safe and aware of what's around you. I'm always making sure that I'm etching away from my hand that's holding the paper. So I'm always moving my paper around in different directions so that I'm at an angle that's comfortable. And here's an example of my finished etching. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make a Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.